welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So a question that I get asked quite a lot is what HF antenna would I recommend to use in a limited space? Now by limited space, we're talking about a situation where your garden is either the size of a postage stamp or you are just not able to install any large HF antenna. Now it may also be the case that you live in an apartment with no garden, but only a balcony that would serve as somewhere to install an antenna. Now, when you want to start receiving signals below 50 megahertz, more typically from 28 megahertz down, the wavelength starts to become quite large. And without masses of loading calls and tuning calls, HF antennas can be quite sizable and normally out of the question for people that live in apartments or have small gardens. Now, antennas are a funny thing. There are many types of designs that pretty much do the same thing, but each have their own benefits. For example, you could have a multi-band end-fed half wave that would be 20 meters in length, and it would be made up of a transformer at the feed point, and then 20 meters of wire. Something like that could potentially cover multiple bands, say from 10 meters down to 80 meters. You could then also get a beam antenna, which the lower the frequency, the larger they get without having to strap on intrusive loading coils. So where am I going with this? Well, if you live in an apartment or have a limited space area and you're looking for a HF antenna that covers 50 megs all the way down to one megs, then this particular product you may be interested in. Now this is called the X1 HF Vertical, manufactured by Moonraker.eu here in the UK. Now this antenna has an internal loaded wire traps which act as a great alternative to a long wire. It's ideal for those that want to listen to shortwave but have limited space. This antenna is easy to build and install. The two main parts, the white base area, which covers the loading coils, and then you have a whip, which simply attaches to the top with a little grub screw. Now the overall length of this antenna is only around 200 centimeters or two meters. No radials are required and you can install this as high or low as you like. I would imagine though that the performance would be increased the higher you can mount it. Now the specification on the Moonraker website details that its optimum reception range is between one and 50 megahertz. But let's put this to the test and go through some of the popular handbands. Remember this is a receive only antenna so I have this connected to my SDR Play RSPDX SDR receiver. So first up here, we are on 80 meters, so around 3.7 megahertz. You can see here that there's quite a lot of activity and this is using that antenna, which I just showed you in the video. Uh, there's around 10 meters or 15 meters of RG58 coax between that antenna and my SDR Play SDR receiver. Let's take a listen to some of the other QSOs that's going on. And um, I see we have our friends from Russia joining us again this evening, but we don't obviously seem to bother them. Our signals are not running from uh, east to west, or from west to east rather, so they're totally immune to us as usual there, Stuart. And by golly, I tell you, there's no doubt about it, Stuart, he definitely hears it. So now we just jump over to the 40 meter handband uh, around 7.1 megahertz. Let's take a little listen to see how well this antenna performs here. Thank you. 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 As you can see there, I've got some local QRM going on, so there's quite a few little spikes which are, are not normally there. It's most likely something to do with my neighbor's LED lights in the garden or uh, something like that. But uh, overall, as you can see, it seems to be working quite well on uh, 40 meters, considering the conditions not actually that great on 40 meters at the moment. 
So here we are on 10 megahertz or otherwise known as 30 meters. You can see we've got some Morse code going on down the bottom there. And we've got some very strong signals coming through. As you can see, these signals here, these are most likely going to be a combination of things like FT8, uh, um, Whisper, uh, maybe even JS8. Those kind of signals, the digital signals are coming through quite nicely there on, on 10 megs. And here we are on 20 meters, 14.235 megahertz. As you can see here, we've got some stonking stations coming through extremely strong. Uh, if you note the time, it's uh, kind of late afternoon here in the UK. So uh, the bands are normally quite good around this time and uh, normally during the day as well. So here we are, we'll just jump up to 6 metres, which is 50 megahertz. And currently at the moment in the UK on this day when I'm recording, there's actually an SSB contest going on. So this works out quite well. So let's have a little listen and uh, see how this sounds. For the call, you're 59 number 15015 from Italy, Oscar 91, Oscar Quebec. Over. Thank you. QRZ Golf for Zero, Sierra Kilowatt Alpha listening. Golf 4, uh, Lima Hotel Tango. Strong signal, thanks for the call. You're 59 at number. Mission impossible, Golf 8, Golf Yankee X, right? Ah, another, another portable. Uh, let's take you as well. Uh, G6, GEI portable. Uh, I've got that wrong in the log, QRX. G E I portable. Um, you're five by nine zero zero nine India Oscar nine one Victor Hotel. So let's jump down to the medium wave band. So we're going to go right down to sort of close to one megahertz and see what we can uh, pick up down here using this uh, antenna. The good fight is that our understanding of this virus improves week on week uh, and we're narrowing down on what we know about it. We're going to wrap it up there. I think that's that's more or less all we have to uh, to tell you at, at this stage. It's a pretty important uh, development in our uh, planning for uh, beating back this this disease. And I hope everybody's understood. Everybody's clear about what we're saying. If you have those those two symptoms, or if you have one or other of those two symptoms of potential coronavirus, a high temperature and a, a new and continuous cough, uh, then uh, you, should, uh, you should stay at home. Good old Boris Johnson there. So it's good to see that the antenna works quite well down at uh, one megahertz, which is the bottom end range of uh, the specification. Now to jump outside of the uh, specified uh, range, we're going to take it up to the FM broadcast band and, uh, and just see how well it works here let's have a little look so many people have got a cough or a cold or a bit of a Pink by lily boulanger you're listening to in tune here on bbc radio 3 and it is 10 to 6 time for some mozart we've got uh, the sinfonia concertante in e flat major we're going to hear the third movement and we've got the wonderful soloist wilder frank on violin and maxim Morisonov on viola with archangelo so it's quite nice to see there that the antenna is also working quite well up into the fm broadcast band let's try pushing this a little bit further let's try the air band let's uh, see what we can pick up up there Right, 
So there we go, that's the X1HF vertical antenna by Moonraker, which is designed to uh, receive between one and 50 megahertz, as we've shown here in this example. It also extends quite nicely up to uh, the airband. Now, now, it may not be as good as uh, a normal airband antenna that's specifically tuned for there, or even the broadcast, but uh, it does show that it works very well indeed. So if you've just got room to have the one antenna, maybe this is something that you can go for. Now, as mentioned earlier, there's so many different types of antennas out there for HF. Now you can obviously go ahead and build your own antenna. You could even just chuck a piece of wire out of the window uh, and probably start receiving some HF. But if you want something which is uh, already made, uh, manufactured and uh, known to work as shown in this video, and you just want it for receive only, then the X1 HF vertical is a pretty good choice. Now I'll leave a link in the description of where you can purchase this from. The company's based in the UK, but I believe they would ship worldwide if, if needed so that you could get your hands on one of these antennas. I just want to say a massive thank you to my current patrons if you want to get involved, patreon.com forward slash techminds. And you can also follow me on Twitter, link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, you guys take care and I'll see you then.